At the north end of McKentrick Mountain, the two-year-old male juvenile reaches to feed on balsam needles or arboreal lichens. Let's zoom out so you can see where the juvenile is located. Later, we see that the adult male billy has returned to the juvenile at the north end of the mountain. The billy is on the left, and the juvenile male is lying down in a hole in the snow on the right. We can see where the billy was foraging in a nearby avalanche chute. You can see the tracks and the snow pits he dug to forage on dry forbs on the ground. This avalanche chute is a 91 degree slope or 42 degrees. The juvenile male usually stays close to this grove of trees while the billy wanders at a distance looking for forage. The ripples you see in these images are heat waves generated by sunlight on trees. The ripples are strongest when the wind is calm. Later, the billy has moved hundreds of meters away and paused for forage in avalanche chute number one. Let's zoom out so we can see where he is. On another day, the juvenile male watches the same billy standing against a skinny tree. The nanny herd has moved away from their favorite ridge. For the last six weeks, the herd stayed in an area about 100 meters by 100 meters. They have moved across avalanche chute number four, south to the next ridge, 150 meters away. You can see at least four goats. Now there are six goats visible in the nanny herd. One more than for report number two. Let's point out all six. Watch this nanny. Jump into the snow below. The kid is in the middle of this group of three. The kid's nanny is moving on the right, and the billy is to the left of the kid. Again, here are all six goats and the nanny herd. The goats spend a lot of time standing upright to reach balsam needles or arboreal lichens. In this photo, you can see three goats standing against trees. One at the top of the photo, one in the middle, and another at the bottom. The nanny with her kid are crossing above some very steep rock. She paws a path through the snow. This slope averages 81% or 39 degrees. Any dark colors you see on the goat's coat is dirt. It comes and it goes.
you can see numerous diagonal paths that connect resting spots with foraging pits dug by the goats. We have now observed one more goat in the nanny herd compared to the last report. The age and gender of two goats in the nanny herd are still a mystery. There's more to come.